Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. That is principle, time-tested principles through the eyeglasses of God. That means through the eyeglasses of His Word. Today I'd like to caption this morning's one C, C, C. That is three C's. And I'm going to take these three C's concerning repentance. Repentance repentance. Now, repentance is the number one, the recognition that I've done something wrong. Number two, the ability to say, not just recognizing it, but the ability to say that I've done something wrong. But I remember um, there's an incident in the Bible and it set me thinking. Repentance, repentance, repentance. Is it just recognition? Repentance. Is it just something that we say? Repentance. What is it? John the Baptist made me understand what repentance truthfully is. And in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. Now John the Baptist came. He was more of a swashbuckling preacher. He gave space for no one. He didn't cut anyone slack. The Pharisees, the publicans, and, uh, and the rulers. He was giving to everybody. The soldiers, the publicans, and the Pharisees. He was distributing and floating shares to everybody. And calling everyone to repentance. And then all these people came. And when... Uh, one breed of people came to him. He made a statement, and that was very startling and staggering in intensity. Uh, I'm talking of Matthew chapter 3, verse 1 to 8. He said, You brood of vipers, who has asked you to flee from the wrath that is to come? Then he said, Go and bear forth fruit worthy of repentance. Go and bear forth fruit worthy of repentance. We've learned all throughout scripture that by their fruits you will know them. By their fruits you will know them. By their fruits you will know them. John said, you brood of vipers. What was he talking about? And he said, go and bear forth fruit worthy of repentance. So I recognized that there were three C's. And the three C's is, number one, the conviction of wrong. Or the conviction that I have done something wrong. It is an essential part of re repentance. If you do not recognize that you've done something wrong, you will not apologize for it. If you don't recognize that you've done something wrong, you won't approach another person and say sorry. If you don't recognize that you've done something wrong, you can never stand in front of God and say. So he said to them, you brood of vipers. Do you know what he was saying? Now I was wondering, why did he use snakes? Why did he use vipers? Then I sat down quietly and then I thought about it. You know, one of the distinctive things about a snake, forked tongue. We say double tongue. So sometimes people will say that they have repented, but they have a forked tongue. They say this here and they say that here. In one breath, apologizing, and in another breath, giving reasons why they did what they did, or giving excuses why they have to do what they did. John the Baptist calls some people vipers. That means you are a snake. That means you have a forked tongue. You don't speak the truth. You are double-tongued. You say this here and you say that here. Now, so number one, the conviction of repentance. That is a work by the Holy Ghost, a work by the Spirit of God, a work by your conscience that what I have done is wrong. And you know what John the Baptist was saying? The conviction of wrong or the conviction that you've done something wrong, I cannot be the judge. I can't judge because I'm not in your heart to know exactly what is in your heart. So the conviction of repentance, I can't judge. The conviction of repentance, I cannot measure. The conviction for repentance, I don't know. So it is just you and God or you and your conscience or you or anybody else who's speaking into your conscience. That one, I can't legislate. Now the second C 
is the confession of repentance. That means saying, I am sorry. You know, and that's where John the Baptist came in. He said, you have a forked tongue. You are saying it for the purpose of saying it, but truthfully in your heart you don't mean it. You are saying sorry to me, but you're telling others why you had to do what you did when you did what you did. And that is very dangerous. So he said, you are a forked tongue person. You say this and you say that. So guess what? I can never measure your repentance by what you say. So John the Baptist said, call some people vipers. And then he said, listen, move beyond just conviction, move beyond confession, and then get to something that's called the conduct of repentance. He said, go and bear forth fruit worthy of repentance. That means go and live a life to let everyone know that what I did was wrong. So I cannot judge you by your conviction. I cannot judge you by your confession. Or I cannot interrogate your conviction. I cannot interrogate your, your confession. But I can examine and I can investigate your conduct. And Jesus made it sweetly for us. By their fruits, you will know them. So the conviction of repentance, I'm not there. The confession of repentance, I'm not sure. But the conduct of repentance, that means what you do, will say a lot. And that is why sometimes people do things, they say sorry, and then everybody says they've said sorry, or they go back and repeat it again. Because truthfully, what John said is that you were fleeing from the wrath that is to come. Because of the finger of judgment, because of public opprobrium, because of public uproar, because of public sinusia, because people were saying it. So you stand in front of everybody and just, just say sorry, just say sorry. But you said sorry, but the sorry doesn't come from your heart. And when you leave that place, you're not going to do things to show that you are sorry. And that is a very dangerous thing. And this is what John the Baptist said, you brood of vipers. So see, see, and see. That means your conviction, your confession, and your conduct must all line up. Then I will know that this is a true repentance. Some people repent because there's something going to happen. Some people are repenting because of the consequences. But repentance should go beyond just consequences. Repentance should be a heart issue, then spoken by the mouth, and then the person's conduct is what is going to tell me that you're truly repented. So I don't look at what you say. I don't look at what's in your heart. I can't see. But I look at what you do. See C, C of repentance. Conviction, confession, and conduct are watched by your fruits. See you and God bless you.